and still I rise. Power. 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 I grew up in New York around unions, but didn't know what they were. And one of my aunts, who worked for the county hospital, was a member of AFSCME CSEA in New York. That was my very first experience with, with unions. There's a certain level of effectiveness that black women have when it comes to organizing. We have to start with organizing and then passing laws, because laws are important. Without them, it makes it very hard for us to do our work. You can move with a fist, like togetherness, being unity. Everybody being on the same page. I think that's what moves us. When you're solo, it's no good. You can't, your, your voice will never be heard. You have to be together as one, a team. I grew up in a union family. Uh, my earliest memory of unions was when I was seven years old. As far as I can remember, there's always been kind of this, this union, this collective, this group of people that fought for each other. I mean, the work, first of all, I want to credit my mom because growing up, she always helped everyone else and that the best thing that we take from life is what we do for others. The labor movement is a social movement and the, the whole goal is to work towards the good and the benefit of, of all. Labor, a labor movement has to be part of a greater social justice movement. You know, you just can't fight with your boss. That's not what this is about. And what we've seen is as the labor movement has become more active, they have gained from this. And those are the moments that make me uncomfortable, but all, also let me know that I have purpose, that we all have purpose, to step in there and try to figure out how to bridge that divide and move forward. Promise. Promise. Historically, black women um, are some of the first workers in this country, right? Both working inside the home and doing really tough labor outside the home, uh, particularly at agricultural labor. And so, you know, you would think, right, that black women would be core to a vision for a new labor movement that is really rooted and grounded in the experiences of those who are at the margins. Um, so that's why I'm so grateful for the Domestic Workers Alliance, and I'm hoping that the rest of the labor movement is able to catch up. Basically, we see a lot of people who come in who um, who have been discriminated against, uh, sometimes just because they're at the workplace and they're doing low-wage work. Sometimes they're working, doing a lot of overtime, and um, they don't get paid either. And as we go into the community and run workshops about workers' rights and tenants' rights, they start to come in and say, hey, this is happening to me. How can we fix it? Voices. Voices. First thing we have to do, just to be a little bit of a doctor here, is acknowledge we have a problem. You know that although there is a Dr. Lewis International Vice President Chair of SEIU Healthcare, we're not in a post-racial union society. We still have, there are several other talented, um, genius people that we're missing out on. Just because we have a structure that doesn't acknowledge, feed, nourish, open up the space for that leadership to grow. I think we have to have in this country bold, creative leadership or we won't make it as workers. We have got to have leaders that are not timid, leaders that can take a stand on issues in the workplace and issues in the community. And our movement, I hope for our movement that we see this that we move out of this kind of very small notion of what a labor movement is, and that we move into a notion that understands that a labor movement is part of a social justice movement. So when something happens in the plant, you're there. And when something happens in Ferguson, you are there in full, in full colors and in full motion. They try to think long term in terms of the next generation of leadership for this union. And I was just one of those pieces and we're seeing a lot of those pieces take shape um, every day in our union. I do consider myself to be a part of the labor movement, but I guess the question is, does the labor movement consider me to be a part of it? Still, I rise.